biggest sprint car show of the year at Houston Speedway was on Sunday night, the World of Outlaws on hand. Very historic race. Uh, the last time that the World of Outlaws will race at Houston Speedway, the track under that name. Uh, future, time will tell if there will be more World of Outlaws shows, but if uh, so, it will be under the Badlands Motor Speedway name. Houston's and the World of Outlaws have had a rich history that dates back to 1983. Sammy Swindell won that first ever event way back then. And uh, I remember it well. Matter of fact, he was racing uh, at the last event that took place Sunday night. Let's give you a rundown on the greatest show in dirt at Houston Speedway. It started out with the time trials. The quick time was set by Donnie Schatz at an elapse time of 11.467. We'll talk about Donnie's success through the night. When we get to that main event, we're going to talk about something that uh, was very rare that happened with the event also. In the heat races, three of them, Paul McMahon out of Nashville, Tennessee, drove the number 51 car to victory. It was Craig Kinzer out of Bloomington, Indiana with the number 11K winning heat race number two, and Ian Madsen from Australia with the number 18 car winning the third heat. The uh, dash, uh, Paul McMahon, earned the pole for the main event by winning that six lap dash. The last chance showdown was won by Logan Schuhart. He's out of uh, Hanover, Pennsylvania, driving the number one S car. And then it's time to uh, get on to the big show. After all the qualifying was completed, it was time to line up for the 35 lap World of Outlaw main event. And Donnie Schatz out of Fargo, North Dakota, took over the lead with a pass on uh, the front straightaway late in the race on lap number 26 when he made the pass on Shane Stewart out of Bixby, Oklahoma. Stewart ended up finishing in second. Danny Lasoski in the number 2L car came in third. It was David Gravel out of Watertown, Connecticut finishing fourth and coming in fifth was Craig Kinzer with the 11K. Craig the son of Steve Kinzer. Uh, this was Donnie Schott's second World of Outlaw victory in one day. That's what's rare about this. Yes, the World of Outlaws don't schedule two events in one day, but uh, worked out this, this time with uh, the race at Knoxville being delayed Saturday night due to weather. The main event didn't run until after midnight or Sunday morning. Donnie Schatz won that event down at Knoxville, came up to Houston and won Sunday night. So two World of Outlaw wins in one single day. Pretty good uh, outing for Donnie Schatz. Third time winning the World of Outlaws at Houston Speedway. Donnie Schatz a winning as driver this year with the Outlaws now with 13 victories and he leads the point standings with the World of Outlaws. Also in competition Sunday night the Street Stocks presented by Bolte's Roll-Off Service. It was Darren Cordles out of Rock Rapids, Iowa two-time defending champion getting his second win of the season at Houston. the first driver to win multiple events and the man on the move finished in second. The guy that passed the most cars was Gary Brown Jr. Started 10th. He came in second. And Trey Thiesenvitz out of Jasper, Minnesota, recovering from a concussion that uh, he suffered uh, earlier in the year. Back into the micro sprints with a victory. His first win at Houston Speedway this year. Fourth career win for him. Now, coming up on uh, Outside the Oval, some of our next features on the way. We'll have Donnie Schatz, the winner of that World of Outlaw race and the winningest driver with the Outlaws this year. We'll have him uh, as well as Mark Dobmeyer, who won two of the last three World of Outlaw shows coming into Sunday. That's a look at racing for Outside the Oval. Mark Tassler.